I will introduce you three softwares that you can use to create your scientific illustrations for your research publication. One of them is truly free. That is Inkscape. Inkscape is an open source free software. You can just download it on the internet and uh, the developer is very generous. They allow you to use it for free and uh, all the things you created, your cop the copyright belongs to you. So I highly recommend this software. Inkscape is a vector-based software that uh, can help you to create these very clean technical images. That is the style that you usually see on journals like Nature Review. On top of that, these journals actually ask you to submit vector-based images because it is easier for them to add it in the post-production process. Vector images are very scalable. When you scale it up and down, the computer can just recalculate the image and then uh, you will have the smooth image again. And that is not like those uh, images like uh, JPEG or PNG. Those are bitmap images they will uh, lose their resolution. That is why Inkscape is a really good choice for you to create the scientific illustrations for your figures and your publications. And I have made a lot of the tutorials on this channel about Inkscape and you can check out this playlist. If you want to learn more about Inkscape, you can also uh, leave in a comment, for example, like DNA, cell membrane, all of that. Just uh, leave in the comments. And the second software is PowerPoint. Uh, what a surprise that you, this is such a common software that we use to make presentations and uh, it can actually create very professional looking graphic abstract. A lot of time it's just like people don't know where those functions are. What I observed in the workshop that uh, when I, for example, go to Oxford to give workshop or go to Berlin at the Charité to uh, teach their PhDs, a lot of times it's just they don't know the functions are actually already exist in PowerPoint. I remember once the scientist was so thrilled to find out that she can just create a arrow with a few clicks from the path that you already has. I made uh, some of the tutorials here to uh, show you how to find those functions. So make sure you check them out. The advantage of using PowerPoint to make these illustrations is that uh, then they're already in PowerPoint. That a lot of you use PowerPoint to present your research. And then uh, another thing about PowerPoint is that you can make animation from the illustration that you created. You to know a little bit more, I can also put it up uh, for vote. You might see it in the live stream. PowerPoint is technically not free. I get corrected by one of you guys in the comments. A lot of time we just get uh, the Office software from Microsoft for free. When you buy a new computer, they, they include it in a package. Or sometimes they just ended up in your computer for some unknown reason, you know, like uh, those situations. We're not going to talk about it. It is an illusion that PowerPoint is free because just it is so prevalent in the computer systems that most of people are using. It is such a smart marketing strategy from Microsoft. And the third one is Adobe Illustrator. Uh, you might have it for free at your institutions. Uh, I know at University of Amsterdam, they have it for free. Uh, they just need to uh, activate the license. The university have a art department or design department. Then most likely you do have an institutional subscription. Go activate it because uh, it is a very powerful software. Adobe Illustrator is the industrial standard software for designing uh, these figures. If you work professionally as a scientific illustrator, then I would say Adobe Illustrator is an essential skill. I create most of my tutorials in Adobe Illustrator. It is simply because I create most of my work in Adobe Illustrator. It's much easier for me to record it and share it with you guys. But the principle of creating these uh, illustrations are the same in any vector image software. So you can use Inkscape and follow the same steps and then create the same uh, structures that you want via those uh, Adobe Illustrator tutorials. It will work just fine. And if you need some guidance, let me know in the comments. All these three softwares are vector graphic software, so they can create the style that you see on Nature Review and uh, make your illustrations look very professional and they will comply with the journal guidelines. If you find this video helpful, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to learn more about the software, you can check out this video.